Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. Well, I am here at the house that me and my new business partner are flipping and I wanted to give you guys a tour of it. I realized that um, we've already done some work and I didn't really film beforehand. So, and to be honest, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, I've been doing all these RV living videos and stuff. Oh, it's raining. Oh. And I'm not exactly sure how how I should be uh, filming the house flipping videos. So uh, I'm still kind of working that out. And um, if you guys see stuff you like, let me know. If you see stuff that doesn't seem to work, let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, trying, <laughs> trying to figure all that out. But let's take a tour of the house. It's... Uh, Gosh, I didn't even think about it until now. But I think it's 1,100 square feet. I knew, I used to know it exactly because we we're doing all the calculations and stuff. But um, about 1,100 square feet. It's from 1971. So here we go. Front door. It opens up and you have a choice to either go into the living room or you can go immediately to your right down the hallway. See, we've already got some stuff going on. On the left-hand side, you have the master bedroom. Master bath through there. Here we have the guest bath off the hallway. So we're definitely gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> I guess I can take my hood off now. It's kind of a rainy day in Texas. In fact, we had a tornado last week. And then we have the two small bedrooms down here. Pretty standard, just squares with a ton of crappy paint. Pretty gnarly. You're gonna have to stay tuned for uh, why the walls are nasty. <laughs> like I said, I probably should have done this little tour one walk through beforehand. And here we have uh, the other bedroom. When we got this place, all of the carpet was torn out, and uh, can only can only guess why that would be. But that saved us work. There was carpet in the in the master bedroom. So we'll go, here's the front door again. Here is the living room where the dogs lounge. You see that? Actually, it's mostly Pearl. Chase, Chase prefers to be out back. And they have this lovely bar, which I wanna get rid of, but we'll see what happens. And then we have the kitchen. Before we could turn into the kitchen, you'll see the doorway to the garage. So that's the laundry room. And then through the door on, through the door, through the door, that's the garage. And then over here was half of the garage, but they converted it. So you can see the teeny, teeny, tiny kitchen from 1971. Double, double ovens. Does anybody remember those? They're cream. They're not olive green, but they're cream. So this is, this is the room that they converted and they put on this, all this wood stuff. So that'll be fun to take off that extra stuff. And you can see more wood on the back, back of the wall. So we got all that to take off. And here we are going through the laundry room. And then garage is just out. Pretty regular garage. So our task 
is to figure out, do we want to make the room that was originally half the garage and the current garage, which is super skinny, teeny bit of storage. Uh, well, if you don't put a car in, you have more storage, obviously. So our one of our decisions is make the garage one big room, which the benefit of that is that increases square footage of the house. It increases square footage of living space, which means that uh, you can charge more because you price and sell a house based on living, living areas. So right now a garage is not a living area. So it doesn't count into the calculation of uh, cost. But if we convert that garage to living space, then it increases the living, living area. So uh, anyway, as it is, this little room that that was the original half of the garage, it's pretty skinny and uh, along with the kitchen, pretty skinny. It's a skinny old house. And then back in the living room, that's where they had their TV right there. You can see the door to the backyard. Right here. This is where the dogs love to hang out when it's not rainy. Got one dog bed over there. It is an enormous backyard. They used to have a some shop or something there. Look how it's super rainy right now. So that's a really nice backyard. You can see Chase's pool. Hold on, why is this not working? Chase's pool there. <laughs> that door goes to the garage. And, uh, and then we just see the house behind. So I realized on the last larger video that I put out, basically introducing the new stuff I've got going on in my life with the uh, house flipping, I realized because of comments, thank you guys, <laughs> that I didn't ever actually uh, introduce officially on camera, Todd, you just see him, my business partner, you just see him in the video. So. I definitely wanted to do that so you guys aren't left in the dark. And now you've had a little overview. So now I feel ready to <laughs> present the projects that we're working on because now you kind of have a feel for the layout and the house. <clears throat> Hi, thanks for joining us on this dreary day. My name's Todd. I'll be working with Pippi to flip houses here in North Texas. And you'll be seeing me from time to time in the videos mainly try to stay out of Pippi's way and watch her do her job. Oh, I guess I'll let you order first. Pork loin sandwich okay. and a banana pudding okay. and a root beer. What would you like to drink? I'll have a root beer too. What size? Small. Small. Okay. Todd, we were talking about uh, budgeting today and what to move forward next on. Do you want to talk at all about that? Have to get the big ticket items in the budget first. Roof, uh, all those exterior repairs. Move into the uh, big expense items inside, which are going to be the kitchen, kitchen. and all the baths. And the two bathrooms. We only have two bathrooms. Um, but yeah, we were also thinking too that we can't just you know put out a design that we like because we're gonna shop around for you know sales on tiles and stuff so maybe we get like beige tiles instead of gray tiles so then we got to change all this color scheme so we're kind of building on that and then we also want to maybe convert the garage to a room it's already halfway a room but we can't even really know that now because we have to first do other stuff. So 
it's kind of uh, what I'm learning as we're going forward that you can't have it all planned out, that you kind of have to go along, you know, depending on sale items or, uh, you know, oh, thank you. how much things actually cost. Hey, doggies. Oh, they gave us uh, some brisket for the dogs. Pearl, would you like that? She's like, let me smell it first. It's a little hot. Come on, Chase is like aggressively looking at it. Pearl, here. Here, Pearl. Good girl. <laughs> God. What's this place called? Rudy's. Rudy's. A great piece of advice that Sylvia had, and remember she's been flipping houses for a few years now. She said, get the front of the house, the facade, looking really good. So, you know, you got curb appeal, all your neighbors are beginning to think the house is increasing in value. Potential buyers that might drive by are going to see the house as a little bit more expensive, even if the inside's not done. So that's what we did. We started with this tree that was really like a big claw over the house. And we needed to take some of those branches off, not just for the appeal, the visual appeal of it, but because of definitely serious potential hazards if there were to be a big storm. We're gonna take these, these big branches down. Todd's over there barefoot, barefoot roofing. so much for joining me on this new and exciting journey don't quit me now hey it's getting chilly so you might want to head over to the Pippinese merchandise store and get yourself a righty row hoodie but for now it's Halloween happy Halloween let's get this show on the road